So you bought some Black Widow batons and you wanna know how to assemble it. So if there's like any troubleshooting that needs to be done, um, or if you've come across any snafus in putting it together, or you don't know what to do, then I'll help you out with that. I'm dressed like a coach today, so I'll be coaching you on how to do this. So got it lit up right now, but sometimes you'll run into a problem where I'm just gonna simulate it where it's blinking All of that stuff kind of helps when you tighten the top here. So it'll tighten up and it won't flicker as much. This also helps too, to bring everything together if you're waving it around and it's like wobbly or it's making some clicking noises. You just need to make sure everything is put together and that way it's not gonna do that. But also, if you were to put the steel rod in the middle, then it'll also be more stable because it is a solid core. But yeah, so let's open this up at the bottom. So it's ideal that you open it from here. Please don't mind my chicken skin hands. Sanitizer, am I right? So we got this little thing here. That's the little clicker. You just carefully take this out. And if, it, if everything feels warm, that's fine. It just means that it's working. You have this part right here. If you just touch it lightly, it'll just come loose. But that's only because if you wanna replace this um, or find any parts for this, that's what you do. Or, you know, sometimes things don't work anymore. Or if you've had it forever, then it'll eventually go out on you. So you just put this right here, put it back in there, and you just like that. You just gotta carefully put it in there. I mean, it's sometimes gonna get stuck, but you just gotta be a little patient with it and make sure everything's kind of center. I know it's like a lot to do, but I mean, it's something that you can just say that you put together yourself. Okay, you got these arrows here that tell you which direction it goes in. You just wanna make sure that this is centered, this is snug in there. That way, when you push the button down here, it's gonna just click into the component here to just connect everything together. So we've already done that. We've made sure everything's good. Make sure it's tight. And moment of truth, there you go. So pretty much a TLDR for this is that if you're running into any problems, there are so many components of this. So first things first, make sure this is tight, brings everything together. You had that glass piece or that plastic clear piece that was in there. You gotta make sure it's going the right way. So the flat piece goes over here. The tubular part, the pointy looking part, goes here because it's supposed to have a concentrated light going into the rods. It's rod shaped, so it goes this way. Then you have the other component, the little green thing, and that's supposed to connect everything. It has the bulb on that side. The bulb goes on that side, flat part, and then you have the batteries. Like you saw earlier, you see the arrows, make sure they're pointing in that direction. That's all good. Then you also check this part and make sure the spring's center and in place. That way it connects to this part, just like a flashlight. And then it should, there you go. And that's pretty much it. And you just make sure everything is together. Now there is a hack that you can um, make it so that these two, with that connector that comes with it, that they actually can be lit up. But that's something you're gonna have to play with if you're you know, into that kind of stuff. But if you just want something to just play with or you want your batons now and you don't wanna to have to do anything with them, your preference only, but if you want something that is Black Widow baton, but you don't want it to light up, we got these other Black Widow batons. It comes with a nice little pretty packaging as well. But let me just take this one. If things protected. Okay, so yeah, it's a solid metal piece. Has like these really cool details here. I really love this part here. I think it's really pretty. Just straight up baton, like it's like really solid. So anyway, it also does turn into a staff, so it's really easy to do. 
It doesn't go all the way, so you don't have to worry about losing it or screwing it in too much. So we got that in there. Oh yeah, I, as you can see behind me, I'm not in the shady area, like the back of the warehouse. I'm gonna try to do this without breaking anything. But I'm in the showroom at Fire and Steel, so come, come and visit us sometime when the pandemic's not happening. So it's really easy if you have an actual table, unlike me, um, it's much easier to screw this in, but just trying to show you easier. Um, but yeah, it's all leveled. Make sure it's good. There you go. And it's Olivia sized. If you really want it to light up, you can do something with it, but maybe you can wrap some kind of fairy lights around these components. I mean, get creative. I really encourage everybody to be creative with stuff. Glad I could help you guys with this and, you know, help you figure out what to do with these things. Yeah. So this has been another Olivia video and here's Laura to tell you some stuff. <laughs> See y'all next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed what you just watched, please check out the links in the description down below. And like always, please consider subscribing and comment. Let us know what you think. We also have a lot of other videos. Please check them out. I know that you guys have mentioned a lot of times that you guys wanted to see some of these things demonstrated. So we have a lot of videos demonstrating how these actually do function. And we have a lot of videos of the behind the scenes at Fire and Steel. So thank you so much. See you guys next time.